send this video. There's a message in here from for you and from <laughs> I love how you doing. Alright, so you are seeing this video for a reason. There's a message wanting to come through your grandfather. I'm hearing very specifically. For some of you, you might have had like a close relationship with your grandfather. And then for some of you, it's like you didn't know them, but there's a special bond between you guys. But they are the ones who are coming through for me to give you this message, okay? Um, let's see. What are the ones you need to know? It's like for some of you, there's also something about you, perhaps remembering them. You might have recently lost your grandparent, your grandfather in particular. You might have recently lost your grandfather, and they are kind of like just wanting to come up to be remembered for some of you might be seeing their pictures out of the blues or replaying back the memories you had with them or hearing their names their voices okay there's just something about them wanting to come through all right so you've got good juju good juju okay you guys might also be seeing 777 as well as um, 17, 17 I'm hearing. Okay, so if you are seeing this video, these are just confirmatory signs for you. Your grandfather is wanting to come through at this time to kind of like comfort you, also talk to you. Kind of, I'm also saying that I'm giving you like a big thumbs up. <laughs> for some of you, the relationship you had with your grandfather was one that encouraged your spirituality or was one that also like, I don't want to say, it's like they opened your eyes to a different aspect of spirituality what you are going through now your spiritual journey now was influenced by perhaps some of these things and memories and events that took place that you had with them okay but there's something about them coming in with good vibes for you to encourage you as you go on this spiritual journey um and what i'm just saying is like this big thumbs up you guys might be in a reflective state right now and they're just trying to tell you like okay you've got everything don't stress too much okay so i'm just i keep saying like this big thumbs up they might have liked giving you like a thumbs up okay there's just this big thumbs up coming up but what i'm also hearing is like if you're seeing this video you are going through a spiritual i wouldn't say a spiritual awakening more like a spiritual undertaking you've decided to commit to your spiritual journey you've decided to commit to your spiritual awareness your spiritual awareness has been increasing and you've decided to like kind of like tune into what your spirit is trying to drop to you to tune into what your spiritual growth will look like to let your spiritual to let the spiritual aspect of life be what determines all the other aspects of your life okay so yeah so i'm saying that yeah, a very spiritual person and your grandfather had kind of like a role to play in this your burgeoning spirituality maybe like for some of you they might have set you off on this journey or they kind of like introduced you to different perspectives and different aspects of it and right now they're just coming to like give you a thumbs up okay um for others of you maybe like you you usually would have deep conversations with your grandfather I'm saying for some of you, like your grandfather is still alive, but for those of you that have passed, there's something that is coming through about them wanting you to remember them and for you to realize that you can always still converse with them. <laughs> you just see, you see it as part of also you like your spiritual growth, being able to converse with not necessarily the dead, but understanding that there's still life beyond the same world okay so when you converse with them maybe you asking them question and then the thing pops up in your reality in form of maybe a meme that travels across your phone or you just happen to listen to a conversation or you find something in the book the way spirit they communicate from the spirit world is different if you are open if you are clear audience here yeah, you would actually hear straight up if you are clear cognizant you hear straight up but if you are not or if you've not fully developed into those skills, you should also be open to receiving messages in ways that would not necessarily scare you. In ways, which is where I'm seeing you are on your spiritual journey, you are being very open and exploring like, okay, what else is out there beyond this 3D world, beyond the material world, beyond the physical world. Okay, so it's like your grandfather is one making the... <laughs> 
Should I say is one making, giving, <laughs> bring, introducing you into the spiritual world? Okay, so they might have done that when they were in their mortal states, but now they are continuing that journey also. Um, so if you ask them a question, you might just open a random book. You might be pulled to a random book to listen to a random song, and then he answers. It's like they'll be talking through those mediums. You just need to stay open to receiving. Okay. All right, let's see. What in particular are they trying to get to tell you? See, as a cut fuel. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, okay? And then, surprisingly, this thing fueled to the affirmation card that laid out. <laughs> That's where it landed up on. So, right now, you guys may be stressing out, trying to, like, get all of everything figured out at once. You have a very long to-do list, and you're like, oh, my goodness, time is running out. I need to get things, and I need to get this. And then part of it is also, like, your spiritual journey. You're feeling like you need to learn a lot of things at once, and you're just telling you, so like, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. But especially this has to deal with like your daily work, your career, your job, your um, your venture, your business venture, and all the things you need to get done to ensure that this continues to proceed at a very good rate, okay? So they are coming through at this point in time to tell you to take a break, okay? Your life is a marathon. <laughs> it's not a season. Even your life work, and that's what I'm also hearing. Like, it's particularly your life work. So it's not exactly. This doesn't feel like. Yeah, you might have like for those of you that have like a nine to five or your employer, you might have like um, obligations, things to do. But that is actually not stressing you out as much as the things you know you need to do for yourself. Maybe in building your business. And for those of you that own your businesses, this is like. You're trying to figure out a lot of things at once, get a lot of things done at once, and they're coming in to just remind you, like, okay, take a break. Take a break, okay? This is a life's work. It is not a season. Get off the treadmill. It is okay for you to take a break. So if you are saying this, what I'm being told to tell you is, like, after this video, just try to shut down. Shut down, take a nap, watch a movie, snooze become lazy be a couch potato even if you can just only do it for 24 hours be soft with yourself be gentle with yourself um turn off your phones if you need to turn off all alarms and just give yourself a break i'm seeing you like settling down with a bowl of popcorn or some ice cream and watching a very nice movie that's like it's like that's coming in through for you guys to relax that way okay it's just there's also something about you perhaps looking staring at your water body so maybe you go to the beach or you visit like a lake or a pond in your surrounding environment and you just stay for a while and it kind of like just eases you into the moment and helps you to let go of all the to do's in your head okay so as i told you this card flew and then it flew on <laughs> my productivity stems from inspiration when I focus on what brings me joy, my tasks become effortless actions, okay? So what I'm also getting is that, you guys, you need to take a step back. When you take a step back, when you relax, when you let go, what you are stressed about right now, taking a step back to do something relaxing, joyful, nurturing, easy, something that is fun, that will make you smile, is to give you kind of like the peace of mind to really see everything. And the clarity on how to proceed with okay this is what i need to do next okay this should be my next um this should be my next plan of action this should be my next um to do this should be my next delivery which you get okay all right my love i feel cool to giving you an affirmation card although this is already one my productivity stems from inspiration when i focus on what brings me joy my task become effortless action Okay, so I want you to repeat this to yourself as often as possible. But I'm going to give you another one. The I vibe affirmation. Let's see. What affirmation? The cards are flying. <laughs> you guys might have air placement, or maybe your grandfather has like air placement. There's a lot of air energy here. Oh, my light attracts light. Okay, so if you're worrying about okay, what you're doing. 
do more you continue to do good the more you continue to focus on doing what fulfills you what is you know what is joyful what brings you joy the more you continue to attract that like energy back to what you're doing okay and then the fact that you're even seeing this video the fact that i popped up on your feed your algorithm that is not by chance okay all right baby i love you take care of yourself and go take a break